All right, guys, welcome to Kev's Hacks. Today, I'm going to show you how you can win at roulette. Sometimes. All right, so there's a system called the Martingale. And basically, what you do, you bet on, say, black and spin the wheel. All right, red comes in, so we lose. So then you double up, so you get two. Pretend these are $5 each, these little ones. We're gonna pretend these are 10 and these are 50s. All right, so you put double the amount on there and we'll spin the wheel again. All right, don't laugh guys, I know it's only a toy, but same principle when you're in the casino. All right, so we got a, another red, so we lose again. So then we double up on that again. So now we put down four of these, $20. And spin the wheel again. And lose again. All right, so that's $20. So now we've got to put on $40. So pretend these are $10 chips. So put on there $40 and spin the wheel again. And red again. All right, so that's gone. So now we've got to put down $80. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, $80 down there now and spin the wheel again. And eventually what you're hoping is that black's gonna come up before you run out of money. There we go, black. So now basically, you get, on these, if you put down $80, you get $80 back on top. So we're gonna use a different a different color, what the casino gives us, so we can sort of know what we've won and what we've lost. So here we've got, so we put 80 down, that means we get our 80 back plus another 80. So out of this money here, we've got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, 80. All right, so we're up by that. And the idea is you just keep doing it and doing it and doing it. And every time, if you start off with a $5 bet, every time, no matter how high it goes, you're gonna end up with $5 up every time. So all right, we'll try it one more time. We'll go on a, on a red this time. Black, all right, we lose. So, put down double the amount, $10. Spin the wheel again. Black again, all right, so we lose that. And now we've got to put down $40. No, sorry, $20, that was 10. So now we're putting down double. Our first one was five, second one, 10. So now we're going to put down 40. Black again. All right, so that's gone. $20 gone. So now we've got to put down $40. So four of them. Two, three, four. And yay, we've got a red. So we've got here. 10, 20, 30, 40. 40 dollars there we put down, so that means we get 40 dollars back from the house. So, 10, 20, 30, 35, and one extra. So there you go. So we get that back. 10 dollars up, not bad. Trouble is, if you do it for too long, you might get a string of like 10 reds in a row and you're betting blacks. And and you can only basically keep going as much money that you've got in your wallet. Once once you've spent all that, you're done, you're gone. And you're pretty much risking like your initial, you know, you're trying to make five dollars and risking everything in your wallet. And most of the time you do win, but over the long haul, um you probably don't. So I'll come out with the Martingale 2.0 system. I've used it for four years now, I've used it in Vegas, on online casinos. I've tested it loads with my little toy here. And yeah, for the most part, I've won. 
I've lost a couple of times. I think I've probably lost two thousand dollars in total, but probably made I don't know. I sort of lost count, but at least at least five six thousand dollars I've made in just in Vegas, and I've probably made a couple of thousand in England, you know, online and on a, in an English casino. So yeah, so at the moment I'm still up pretty well. So I'm, just, I'm going to keep playing because I enjoy playing it until I start losing. Then I'm going to give up. But basically, what you do on the 2.0 is you've got to look at the history. So, say for example, I've normally got a board up if you go into a into a real casino and you and you play the um, roulette, or even if you play online, you'll see a history board. And I'll always wait for like a pattern of four to happen, and then I'll jump in and, and start playing the opposite. So let's say we've had, so I'm not playing, I'm just watching the game. So let's just say we've had four reds in a row. Then I'm going to start betting on black. And saying like you're going to get ten reds in a row, I've already, I've already missed out on four goes. So, you know, even if he goes to ten in a row, I'm I'm still not I'm still only six in. So it's not that bad. So I've I've actually noticed I've been winning a lot more than what I've been losing. And you can do it on the odds. You can do it on the evens. Um, you know, red and black. I, I stay away from these. I don't, I don't play these at all. And you can do these as well. So um, with these, if you play on these, you've got to triple up every time. But you've got a bigger chance of winning. So let's say we put five on here. I'll go with the colour that we've got. Five on here, five on here. But keep an eye on the history. I mean, if you've seen that this this section here hasn't come up for the fast, you know, four spins in a row, this one's come up. Jump on this one here. So, all right, let's give that a go. All right, 35. So we lose that one. They're gone. But now we have to triple up. So, three of them. Three of them. $15 on each one. The chances of winning are a lot higher. But because you triple up, you run out of money a lot quicker as well. So, so what have we got? Number one. All right, so we win that. So basically, on these, you win. You win less. You only. Oh well, you win more, but you put in. You put in more down. So you, on these, you basically win. Well, that's gone because it didn't come in. Come in there, so that's gone. So you get paid that back. Plus, so we'll keep it simple and leave these there. That's how much you get back. So, right, we're $15 up now. Not bad. Right, I'm going to show you on the computer now how this works with the um, missing out the rounds. All right, so we're on the online casino now. This one's William Hill. I've got £100 in my account balance. And what we want to do, check out the history. We want to come along all of these and check out which one has a pattern going on. This one here, possibly. Just had three reds in a row there. So if that one gets another red there, we'll we'll bet black. And these ones are an auto one. I wouldn't play these ones. This one's an auto one. These other ones are live. You want you want to go with one where you can see the person sitting in the background. And we also want one which is no more than a pound starting bet and if you look in the corner here you can you can see what you can bet one pound's our maximum we want to bet as our first bet we could have done this one but the green's gone and if a green comes up inside i'll just ignore that and i'll just wait for a new pattern to start if we're already if we're already betting and the green comes up in the middle just carry on and ignore it right this one here just seeing a pattern hopefully we're not in too late just had all these blacks in a row so we're going to bet red Yep, now the blacks just come in. So we've had one, two, three, four, five, six blacks. So we're going to go and put a put one on red. And also, look before here. Look, there's been more blacks. Just that one, that one red there. So reds have got to start coming up soon. You know, just looking at history. If you go into a real casino, you'll see one of these boards in the background, like we just saw in this one a minute ago. You can check out the history on there. 
See when the camera angle comes round. So red, there we go, we win that one. So we started off with 100 pound. 99 pound because of that bet we put in. So we should have 101 pound on there now. So we'll win back our pound plus an extra pound. So there you go. See, there's the board. If you go into a real casino, they normally got these there and you can see what the history is. And you can just go and join a table that's got something that you like the look of. All right, so we'll come out of this. All right, we'll check out the histories again on some of the other games. See what's going on. We just won our pound on this one. This one here could possibly have something coming up. Five pound minimum bet's too much for us at the moment. We want to probably have at least three, four hundred pound in our balance before we start putting higher minimum bets down. We'll win more money more quickly, but it also doubles up a lot quicker and you'll be out of money quicker as well. So, um, stay on minimum bet for now, 50p to a pound until you get your money up to, to sort of a bit higher. Uh, uh, no, I'm not going to do that one. That's two pound. Bit of a waiting game sometimes. You've just got to sit here and just wait and wait and wait until something comes up. But it hasn't got to be colours, you know, you could use odds, evens, highs, lows. So you can look out for all of them. It's not, not just uh, reds and blacks. Another low. We've had low, 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 low. Even there, all right, okay. So now we're gonna go 50p, we're gonna go 19 to 36. We're gonna go for high number. But I'm going to start doing some jump cuts in a minute. I'm going to start speeding you up a little bit. Otherwise, you're going to be sitting there just waiting and waiting and waiting. So I'm going to speed it up a little bit for you guys. I know it's a bit of a long video. But um, for some of you guys that are interested in gambling and stuff, maybe you find it interesting, maybe you don't. I don't know. Another low. So we go repeat and double. Don't forget, we had £101 in our balance. We run that £1 earlier on. And there we are. There's our high. So we win 50p in that in total. So there you go. Look, £101 we had. Now we've got £101.50p. Uh, we've got a pattern here going on again. Look, with reds. So... We'll wait out another spin. If another red comes in, then we'll jump in and start playing reds. Blacks, I mean, sorry. You've got to do the opposite. Whatever, whatever pattern you see going on, you've got to do the opposite pattern. You know, if you build this up to like a thousand pound, then maybe you can you can bet ten pounds at a time. So every time you, you do a round, you win ten pound. And it gets better and better. If you get your balance built up to ten thousand pound, then you can start betting one thousand pounds. And just sort of keep going. So the more money you get in your bank, the more you can make your initial bet, and the more money you're going to ultimately win. At the moment, we're just playing with low money, so it takes a little while to build it up a little bit. So right, we've had all them reds in a row, so we're going to go ahead and bet on the black. But for now, obviously, if we betted a tenner, we can only double up sort of 10, 20, 40, and that's it. You can go to, yeah, you can't even go to 80 because that'll be done. That'll be your £100 wiped out. So, we've got, we've got to stay low, guys. When you're starting out with a low balance, you've got to start low. But, don't don't just put a £1,000 in there, neither, because there's a chance that you could lose. And if you can't afford to lose a grand, don't put a grand down. Put in whatever you're comfortable with. If you're only comfortable, well, you're going to need... Probably at least £50 in there to have sort of half a chance so you can double up a few times even if you're betting 50p's. But if you can't afford to lose £50 then just don't play at all because there is a risk you can lose. Alright, so we've got no, no patterns going on here at the moment. So we'll go back to the lobby and see if we've got anything else going on. Ah, this one would have been one. I was just about to jump in, but... But we still got high, high, high. Ah, oh, yeah, we can do this, actually. Let's have some highs so we can bet on a low. If we're not too late. Low, low. 
Right, we're on. So if we look up here, look, high, 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 high. Five highs in a row, so starting on low. Always try and break the pattern, guys. Don't, never go with the pattern, always try and break the pattern. Another high. Not to worry. Every pattern's got a break. No pattern continues. I don't know what the, the record is. I think the record is probably something like 20 reds or something in a row. Maybe more, but the chance for that happening is so rare. I've never seen it happen. I don't know anyone that's ever seen it happen. So, all right, so we do repeat and double. Hopefully we'll get a low. Nope, another high. So repeat and double again. Hopefully we'll get our low. If not, repeat and double. Oh, another high. So we'll repeat and double again. See, sometimes you have to repeat and double quite a few times. Other times it comes in every every time. You know, sometimes you can sit at a table and everything you bet down, you win straight away. And you're just doing one pound, one pound, one pound every time you're winning a pound. Other times you might have to sort of do four or five double ups before you win your pound. So obviously when that happens, it takes you a bit longer to make your money. And if you're really unlucky and you get a long string, then well, then you're out of the game, aren't you? <laughs> so remember guys, real risk here playing. There's no guarantee slam dunk. So right, we win. So check my balance out. 102 pound and 50 p's. We made two pound 50 so far. at the moment we're probably making about the same amount of money than if he was working in McDonald's or something like that. Any pattern going on? Nothing. Back to the lobby then. Even, even, even. Ah, oh, this one possibly. If we get another even, I'm going to jump on odd. All right, well, I hope you get the gist of this. I'm not going to do it too much longer. Because it is a bit long-winded. If you haven't got much, you want to risk. It does take a while to get your money built up. But if it's if you know if you enjoy playing anyway and you're having a laugh, I, I don't really enjoy the online casinos. I don't find it much fun at all. So I tend to stay away from it. All right. Uh, we get another black. And we got loads as well. Look, so we could we could play either highs next go, or we could be playing reds depending what's coming. So yeah, I don't really enjoy the online casinos. I don't I don't find it much fun. I'm just showing you as an example. I mean, I, I like going to a real casino in Vegas, and it's sort of a good atmosphere, have a good laugh, and if you know, and if you make a bit of money on the side as well, and you've had fun, and it's all good, isn't it? And if you go to the pub, you can spend easily spend a hundred pound and. And come home with nothing. You go to a casino over a hundred pound, at least you've got a chance to come out with a lot more. When even, even if you do come out with nothing, you would have spent that down the pub anyway. So I see it as a bit of a win win. Right, so now we're gonna be betting on red. make this the last round and then um and then uh, we'll call it a day on that one we'll be doing some roulette in vegas so i'll keep you updated i'll get on there You're not allowed cameras into the casino so it's probably not a good idea to smuggle it in there because if they see see that it was me doing it on youtube then they might ban me and i enjoy vegas so i'm not going to risk it but I can show you how much money I earn or lose. <laughs> All 
All right, well, our red comes in. All right, pattern here. This one's too high. Ah, this one. Better red. Another black comes in. All right, that's good. So now we're going to bet red. All right, I've made three pounds so far. I don't know how long I've been filming for. 24 minutes. So, yeah, it's not great money. Three pounds in 24 minutes. You know, if I keep that up for the hour, I'll probably make about six pounds, something like that. Probably roughly a McDonald's wage, a little bit less, probably. But once you build this up higher and you're betting higher numbers, you know, if you're betting a tenner every time, then you'll be making 60 pounds an hour. When you're betting thousands, you could be making 600 pounds an hour. You know, give or take. But, you know, you can always still lose as well. So, um, you know, take the risk however however much you want to risk. Don't don't bet more than what you're willing to lose. And if you start low, you know, if you've got 50 quid you can risk, you're not too bothered about losing, start off with 50 quid and just build it up and build it up. And the higher you can build it up, the, the higher you can start betting. And, you know, if you keep it up, you might be betting in the thousands and making thousands. So you never know. Four years in, I'm still up. So it can't be that bad. Alright guys, hope you liked the video. Uh, I know it wasn't the usual video. Next video is going to be back to normal. So, um, give us a thumbs up, subscribe and see you later.